or 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 who he's gonna do this to us. Nah, man, this man is giving game, bro. Like, and, and I, I gotta tell him thank you for that. This man is telling me the investment he's done in many different places like Texas, Tennessee, and he goes out there and he does his business, bro. You gotta salute a man of those type of principles and statues. I know these are lost, lost uh, uh, attributes folks in them have. But never forget, this will make you who you are, bro. It get freshened up at that moment to, to, to be that rose that grew from the concrete, like Tupac said a long time ago. I mean, I can't fall back on rumors and gossip, bro. The big zone, whoa, whoa. Magic spell hit the voodoo. Now we five stars sipping on that baba cool woo. Miss the way she go, eh? Now she down under, Mr. Thunder. Bring them fools out, no noise, eh? Now she finna see what they bout while you sit. Real zones don't play, eh? That's the zone way. Hey, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe on this platform. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hey, yo. What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Now, in today's episode, I wanted to talk about Corey King. Shout out to Corey King, by the way, but not in particular him. Y'all been hearing some of the gossip and the back and forth. Not a lot of people taking them serious. I've been trying to look into this clubhouse situation. You know, people telling me, bless one, DJ bless one, you gotta look at clubhouse in clubhouse it's a lot of entertaining personalities in uh, clubhouse but it's a lot of conversations that get a little uncomfortable i heard some things about my og corey king that was like unpleasant bro like I i'm gonna speak about it without being biased and nothing like that i heard things that i don't agree with let's get that out the way i don't agree with none of those gossips or rumors about what they said about corey king i'm doing this video to merely talk about the people who decide to get into these type of gossips into these type of things that's all i wanted to talk about i got no beef even with the people who are making these rumors and gossip about corey king or anything in this type of spectrum it's just to say it's thanksgiving day and to see people energy just angry with the with the vibes that's in the atmosphere right now. Now, Corey King, for for these years I've known him. I don't know him longer than these other people, but I've known him for quite some time now. Humble brother, you feel me? Um, never shaky. He is who he is even behind the scenes. You know, not a lot of people are who they are behind the scenes. That's very rare. So I gotta give credit to my brother, Corey King. You know what I mean? It's like all that time he did locked up, you feel me? Whether he's a banger or not, we're not gonna discuss that. We're talking about the human being that Corey King is. All that time he did and the respect he got, think about it. Now on the internet, based on people's anger towards each other or whatever, all it takes is for you to say this one thing about an individual and this will be the rumor about that man. This will be the, and even if we know it's the truth or not, but it will be lingering there. This is why I'm doing this video to say to anybody who decides to go to that route because you mad at somebody, why not pick up a phone and hit that man up and see if you can have your difference. I'm gonna just get this part out the way. Me and you could be beefing. I'll never do no weak-ish like that. And I get up on the internet and because I'm mad at you, I gotta ignite and start some fake ass rumor or gossip about you. Corey King did all that time locked up. You don't think that would have been, there would have been many folks in them out there saying these rumors about Corey King doing some educational purpose mook type stuff out here bro like or any other rumors y'all have on this man from what I've been seeing with my eyes many people who spoke to me about Corey King it's just nothing but respect you dig these are a lot of people of great respect and statures in these places you call the streets 
talking about real thorough dudes. I'm having real conversations and Corey King name will come up and all I hear is nothing but respect for this man. I've seen plenty of videos of this man encountering the wolves that you are afraid of. All you people, I'm talking about everybody in the world, these wolves that you're afraid of. Well, I see these wolves galvanize around Corey King and give him his credit, pay him his respect or whatever. You may not like that lifestyle and I'm not trying to promote no violent lifestyle, no gangs and all that. I'm promoting a family because if you talk to most of these people, they call each other family. They don't get up and down and rumble on some internet games and politics and despair somebody's name bro like that that that's like some of these unwritten rules folks don't remember no more when i'm saying these things about corey king i'm just saying corey king is a representation of many of us out here not you don't even have to be a gangster none of that if you respect who you are and you stand on your principles where well, you got dudes who's making it shaky out here for dudes i mean those of ours and us who still stand out here and try to go by these principles that people don't even no longer follow. You feel me? I believe these principles are healthy to build a, a empire, a nation. These, these principles are vital. And when people cross those lines for different reasons or, or emotional or personal beef, it just get twisted. Like, damn, bro, we really can get on the internet and say anything about anybody and anyone like that? That's wild to me, bro. Like, it's... To throw these on anybody name is wrong, but when you know the man who Corey King is, bro, it's, it's really wild that he'll be the one in the uh, in the, the conversation of topic that you'll throw these, you know, alleged rumors about. And it's, it's, I've been hearing a couple of people who said that, but these couple of people all have beef with Corey King, you know what I mean? And these couple of people, no disrespect, it's like, you ain't around that man, it's not really close people around him, and I think only one of them did time or whatever with Corey King, but it's like he got some gripes with Corey King too. So it's like, this is a new cheat code. If you mad at somebody, just spill some dirty gossip or rumor about them and flood it in the waters and let them sharks out here smell it if it got blood or not. And even if it don't, meaning the truth or not. Remember like Charlamagne the God, for these folks, man, the lie is, you know, better than the truth for them, bruh. It's entertaining. It's like a lifetime channel type thing on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is cool. You got talented people, people who can, you know, people who got that chemistry with the audience and they can keep it going. But sometimes these people get over themselves and you might feel the energy of all them people listening to you and you get the, you know, tweaking online, bro. Like saying some things that's foul and some things that have repercussions and consequences for every action. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that's very true, bro. Like just... Just understand, bro, that name is all you got in this world to stand on when the days turn cold and dark. Your name is all you got. That's the strength of your very existence. I believe in that. And when somebody play with your name out there, it's damn near like taking a, 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 a what a, a two, two, three, and, and you got these rounds coming out that chamber, bro. It's, I feel like you pulling the trigger, bro. Like when you do these type of, it's like, what's your goal out of this? These Wendy William type dudes out here today, and it's not towards, when I say Wendy William type dudes, it could even be towards my friends, your friends, or anybody. I promise you this is a Thanksgiving day and got beef with nobody. I'm just telling you how I personally feel when I feel these type of energy in the air. It's foul. This man, Corey King, when he's on the phone with me, he ain't talking about no banging things and pause or 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 who he's gonna do this to us no nah, man this man is giving game bro like and, and I, I gotta tell him thank you for that this man is telling me the investment he's done in many different places like texas tennessee and he goes out there and he does his business bro you gotta salute a man of those type of principles and statues i know these are lost lost uh, uh attributes folks in them have but never forget, this will make you who you are, bro. It get freshened up at that moment to, to, to be that rose that grew from the concrete like Tupac said a long time ago. I mean, I can't fall back on rumors and gossip, bro. Being a man that got his own troops, meaning my own kids in real life, I got to salute out here, bro. I can't fall ventured into that because I've seen a lot of, even some of my supporters that were sending me... Um, emails and, and hey you want to talk about this Corey King thing I seen it on Clubhouse and I'm like bro I've been heard these little rumors bro I just don't pay it no mind 
because everybody who's been bringing these rumors are not people who's close to Corey and not people who have the better interests of Corey, meaning folks who don't like him. If you look at in 2021, anybody that don't like you, they're going to present some type of fabricated you know situation a story about you because if you a strong man out here and you got a strong name you got these young bulls following you you feel me you a leader you a general out here and i don't want to say general you a good mentor a good positive you know person to be that light in a dark you know time we're in in these type of days bruh you're gonna have people throwing mud at your name bro and that's what i see what's going on nothing that could be substantiated nothing like that and you got people really in these conversation as if this was an actual fact now these are the reasons why i don't build with certain people on youtube or whatever it's not that they did anything with me i sit back and i'm like damn bro a lot of people which i do feel bad for but they really get up every day to find something to throw at your way you dig what i'm saying they find something to help them to feel and cope with things and feel better about whatever they got going on in their life i genuinely and in, in real life feel like that folks and i'm really gonna try to make a name and make a way for themselves off your hard work and that's the way it's gonna go and i understand even if you don't speak on oh take the high road but you don't really know which road to take you could take it through the violence route but certain people ain't gonna take it there 12 might be involved you could take it through going back and forth but you don't feel like arguing for dude all day you don't even do it with your woman because you know that that's female tendencies to be arguing back and forth i ain't gonna win that argument if a male has you know educational purpose female traits i never win an argument with my wife because she gonna keep going i don't want to keep going i'm gonna walk away and go cool off and smoke me one you feel me so in this case it's a lot to it bro i don't know what the aptitude of the situation is or what beef is to get people to disrespect names like that over here we, res we respect all people bro regardless of what you think of this platform the content we create here go pay attention to them videos go listen the only people we ever turned up on was a troll being a hater that's it and everybody in the world across the world that's a universal this is a universal language when you say f a hater bro so other than that i'm a humble brother and i'm gonna stay humble bro and humble people i'm gonna keep hoping god puts around me just like fbg duck mother you feel me love that lady right there shout out to that beautiful woman and so many other people who came across me in my platform or in my life over these years of positivity bro i've been down so bad in my life at the point mentally bro that's the worst place cuz to be trapped in your own mind so when you can escape that finally and another hater come out the way trying to entrap you back into that mental shackles you escaped from that person is the most evilest person that could be around and you might get tripped out your position if you pay attention to them but i know corey king is a soldier i know he ain't really paying attention to it like that but it got to be itching and bothering you a little bit when people playing with your name like that but again the earth only shakes when you move and if corey doesn't move for the people who's going against him nothing will shake and bake and you got to give him respect for that bro and so i'm doing this video more to let him know you got young ones out here well i'm older now but to know him for these years and he still be stand up like that and everybody i spoke to people like stat 280 and stat 280 had nothing but good things to say about corey king you feel me and it's like these solid official members they never have nothing negative about this man to say so i'm gonna fall back and retreat and just say salute to the ones who don't get their flowers because next thing you know when you do some type of violent act or whatever that's when people are going to want to start preaching but when a man is out here doing positive things he's mentoring youths out here he's he's getting in certain situations and giving back to the little homies i seen it seen it with my eyes he gives back them, them dudes look at that man not as a boss or a leader but big bro you feel me big bro is a better title than any title you're gonna get and even if i say og out of love or whatever to corey king i'm gonna say big bro he's like a big brother spirit bro like even if i'm out of bounds and some things i remember i called him corey king with the killer kev situation i let a troll get me you know make my mouth say a little say a little extra or whatever and i and i told corey i mean uh killer kev as a man what it was because killer kev is a respectful dude and it was a miscommunication and thank god i'm a humbled brother and i don't really disrespect people so you gotta walk like that bro quit disrespecting people to everybody i'm saying that too and and corey king was the one and stat 280 i was like hey bro how route what route you think i should take because i think i 
messed up on it, bro. I'm a man first, bro. You got to stand on your principles and my principles, bro. If you out of bounds, let that individual know you was out of bounds, bro. You ain't getting G-checked. You ain't being no weak dude, bro. In fact, I think you showing strength. You exhibiting what a man is, bro. Principles is everything. J Prince said the most powerful words, bro, when his nephew was killed like a year ago, I think that was, or a couple, uh, like nine months ago to a year. And he said, them folks didn't even have to kill my nephews, man. And the problem is there ain't no more principle in the game anymore. And that's what we lack in here today. It's just everybody want to be about the rah-rah. Everybody want to count each other pockets. Everybody want to worry about all the, the weak tendencies that destroys a, a environment, a habitat, a nation, the human being himself, herself. And it's like these traits become a virus and it's like a cancer that spreads to the next man, the next woman. And you see it, you see it in real life to the point, that's why I made the video just in unity and peace. No corny sucker ish. I'm just being honest, man. Look at your energy and check your energy, bruh. Energy is supposed to live forever. So don't put yourself in a forever tormented lifestyle. Cause remember, even when you're dead, you still gonna be you, gang. That spirit don't go nowhere, bruh. So what you want to live like? You want to be in eternal torment, bruh? Or do you want to get positively around your life and just make a way for the real ones, bruh, and the trail ones, bro? Look, I'm DJ Bless One. I can't say no more and speak on this. If you couldn't read between the lines and what I'm saying and you just took this as a negative video, then homie, you are the cancer cell that, what, that we're talking about on this video. You're the negative energy, fam. So look, I'm DJ Bless One, man. Love your family. Love your kids and stay blessed. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to a real one, man. That's the most I can do and do my part, bro. It's, it's a given day. This how I'm going to be thankful. Shout out to the real ones who hit me up and I hit them up and they responded when I needed that time, man. Shout out to Corey King and the trip. Shoot the chopper, shoot the man down, man down. Shoot them all around and don't play around. Dirty man chopper, shoot the man down. Don't never play no man around. Okay, hey, call me Mr. Big Zo. Whoa, whoa. Magic spell hit the voodoo. Now we five stars sipping on that baba fumu. Miss the way she go, eh? Now she down under, Mr. Thunder. Bring them fools out, no noise, eh? Now she finna see what they bout while you sit. Real zones don't play, eh? That's the zone way. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, zone.